right, we're on Kelim, Perak Yud Mishnah Dalet. We're continuing to talk about specific laws related to the Tzamid Patil. So if I have a Kadur, a ball, or a Pika'at, Shel Gemi, a Kadur, a ball, a Pika'at, is a coil, a clue of thread. Gemi, look it up, Gemi is reed grass, bulrushes. And they, would use, they would use this to make, they would wrap it, it's a kind of a, like a, a grass that they would use it as string. And I made it into a ball or I made it into a, I made it into a coil of some kind. So I have these things and I want to use them as a, I want to use them, my ball as a stopper for my tzamit pati to make my tzamit pati. I stuck it on. I, I push it in there like a cork or something. Okay, so not that I put them on my jug. If you smear them around the sides, lo hitzil. That's not good enough. Meaning I put the ball in here and I smear it around the edges. That's not enough. Until you do the uh, uh, the, mir- the miruach, till you smear it above and below. Says about tenura milmalan shel kadur o shel pakat ulemata both below and above. Kadeshi chaser kulo. You have to because you have to cover the whole thing because it's chalul. He says there's a hole in it. There's it's it's porous. Let's look at the Rav Posen. You have this. Uh, Ball or pakat, I don't know what he drew, whatever. Okay, this this spindle of thread, and you stuck it here, right? So he says this kind of miruach is not enough until you do the whole thing. You have to cover over and make sure you cover over all the holes to make sure that there's no exposed areas. The mission continues. The same thing is true about a matlit. A piece of matlit is a is a is a like a little talit from the word matlit. See the word talit in there? A little um. Uh, um, piece of, of cloth, and you use the cloth, and you put it on here, and you have to, and then you have to, it's it's cloth, and then you have to be mimareach all the way around. You have to cover it entirely. But haitashel niyar shel or if you covered it with paper, and their paper was was, uh, I, I'm not sure what it's made of. You look it up on the Wikipedia, I'm sure, but you use it with paper that wasn't porous or skin, right, or is of leather of some kind. Ukshiraba mishicha, you tied it with a Chutak with a string, then then you don't have to cover over the top because the top is not porous, right? Because it's made of leather of some kind. It doesn't have holes in it, like a piece of cloth. And therefore, as long as I do miruach around the sides, around the entire sides, like so over here, the same thing is true. If I do miruach around the sides to make sure it's tied with the string, and I make sure that it's it's covering up all the uh, holes, that's good enough. And it saves the cleave from becoming tamay. That's considered tamid patil. We'll dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Arab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.